So let's briefly talk about correlation. Here in this section we're going to talk about correlation, which is a measure of how two variables are related to each other. And this is a very important first step to asking a question which economists love to ask. Does changes in one variable cause changes in another variable? But immediately you should be jumping up and say, hey, I have heard this plenty of times. Correlation is not equal to causation. And that is absolutely right. So here we will talk about correlation, but you have to be very careful to not misinterpret that as a causal relationship between one variable and the other. And I'll in a moment show you a very a case where we'll see a very strong correlation, but it's obvious that there is not a causal relationship. However, as economists, we will usually be interested in correlations be, be, between variables where it's potentially plausible to think about causal relationships as well. So let me, for instance, um, show you this example here. So here we have a data set for, with all sorts of COVID related numbers. So we have a data set, we have different countries. Okay, there are different countries here, there's population sizes, all the data from, are from a particular week in uh, week 10 in 2022. And here we have case rates. Okay, these are case rates per 100,000. Another variable which we have for every country is what is the health expenditure? That would be health expenditure in 2019, so before the uh, pandemic. And one question you may ask is, well, do countries which have higher health expenditure tend to have lower case rates? So this is, so let's look at this picture here. This is a scatter plot of these two variables for that particular week. On the horizontal axis, you can see health expenditure. On the vertical axis, case rates. Okay, so you see the highest here is around 10,000 per 100,000. So that's a very, very large uh, case rate in that particular week. So you may want to ask the question, is there a relationship here? Perhaps immediately you would have wondered, shouldn't there be a negative relationship? Like countries with higher health expenditure, perhaps better health systems, shouldn't there be lower case rates? But there's all sorts of subtleties here, which also what matters is how well do you actually measure uh, case rates and it may be that countries with better health systems are just better in measuring how many COVID cases there are. So you could look at these data and it's actually not so straightforward. Perhaps you can imagine that there's some sort of positive relationship here, although then the countries with the very highest health expenditure have very low case rates in that week. But you could imagine that as an economist interested in sort of health economics, you may be interested in a potential causal relationship. In this lesson, you will learn how to um, calculate correlations to give you a measure of the strength of this relationship. But under no means should you misinterpret that as evidence of a causal relationship. Establishing causal relationships is possible sometimes, but it's not part of this unit. We would just warn you not to think about this. And let me show you another example which would make it super obvious that you can't think of correlations being equal to, uh, to uh, causation. So here's another data set, and this is time series data. So here you can see we have data for every year from 1960 to now. And what we have here is data on the population in India and the GDP in the UK, but measured in US dollars. The data come from the uh, FRED uh, site, FRED, if you, in your favorite search engine, search for FRED data, you get to the Federal Reserve Economic Data, um, and that's a big database of freely available data. And so, for instance, if you type in here, you get India population, you get to here, population, total population for India, you get 
some data. So I downloaded these data and then I also searched for uh, UK GDP and I also want annual data because the population data, um, annual data, um, annually across the market product for the United Kingdom annual data. So I have these data. I downloaded all of these data, both these data series into a spreadsheet. And here they are next to each other with the uh, data. I plotted a line graph with two different scales, okay, because they uh, these are both very big numbers, but also still on very big different scales. So we need two scales to compare them. And what you can see here is that both of them show what what we call a um, upward trend. Okay? Both of them are trending upwards through time. Now, if we calculate the correlation here, what you will get is, we can just do that using the corral function. And we need the first series and comma the second series. If we calculate the correlation, what we get is 0.97523. As you will learn, the correlation measure will be between negative one, which is a perfect negative correlation, to positive one, a perfect positive correlation. Here we have a very, very strong positive correlation, very close to one. But you need to recognize that, of course, the population in India is not causal for the GDP in, U in the UK or the other way around. The GDP in the UK does not cause the population in India to rise. So this is very important to understand and you need to be especially wary of correlations which are calculated on time series data which are upward trending. So. This is enough for an initial introduction to, to this topic. You will learn more about how to calculate correlations.